977 QLZ, we have a huge rock announcement coming in. This is a massive one right now. And coming in right now is a big announcement that I think you need to pay attention to here as my phone is going off and we're starting this conversation. Got to love it. I'm so pop. I'm so popular. Lilith Saar is with me. Uh, you may have known her as a different name, but she's truly transformed herself. A certain level of clarity of power has come into what you're doing now. The new album is out now created from filth and dust and you're on possibly going to be the most talked about rock tour of the year with Hellstorm and Evanescence. Tickets yes. are on sale now. December 5th, they are going to be in St. Louis. You can get them through Ticketmaster. Uh, this is a huge bill. This is one of the most unique tours I've, I've seen announced in quite some time. I think it's yeah. obvious to say this is this is the this is the female rock tour. Every single it, band on this is going to represent women in a huge, huge way. Plush also on this lineup. I got to talk to them a little while ago. How does it feel to be a part of something like this? This is very unique, very big. Yeah, it feels, um, you know, synchronistic. It feels like uh, everything that I set out to do with Lilith Czar, um, I'm accomplishing. Um, this is the baddest bitches tour for sure. Like I, you know, when when the uh, opportunity presented itself and it was something that, that could possibly happen, I, in my mind, I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> you oh, that know? sounds cool. Was, oh, that would yeah, be fun. That would be cool in my dreams, you know? <laughs> uh, and then when it, you know, when it came through, um, I mean, I, I feel like I, I, I feel like I'm still not going to really believe it until I'm on stage and it's happening. It's a, it's a dream come true. You know, these are some, uh, this is a big stage to fill. And um, yeah, I've been, uh, you know, this is something that I've been dreaming about for a very, very long time. So I couldn't be more appreciative and uh, grateful for the opportunity. How, how much female energy is going to be in these crowds? How much how the, oh. the estrogen you could cut with a knife at the, at these places what, is going to feel real. Every fan, every female fan will walk out of that show on the same cycle. That's how much feminine <laughs> energy is going to be going on. We're sinking up the nation, baby. <laughs> That's what this tour is going to do, man. That is that is awesome. We're going to be that like is... this. Yeah. <laughs> Um, how did this come together when you were pitched it? Like you, you mentioned, like you, they, they can't possibly, is it just cause it sounds so cool and it sounds so unique that like, you're just like, that can't happen. And then what was your reaction when you heard you're doing this? This is, this is going to happen. You know, I, I have listened to both bands since their inception. You know, these are Lizzie Hale is a, an icon and, 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 you know, Amy Lee as well, and their voices and have, I've, they've carried me throughout my life. And um, when, you know, when the, when the tour itself present, was presented to us, you know, I just, I, I look, even talking about it, I'm, I'm completely like going off into la la land because I can't even believe what it's still happening. What was your question? <laughs> it just feels, it just feels so special to be a part of it. It's, right? it's really, it's really special. Very, very special. And, um, you know, I think that, uh, it, it, it's just, it, I don't know. I'm blown away by the whole thing and it feels very, very much something that Lilith Czar should be a part of. So, uh, when this came out, I had fans of you. I had fans of the other artists on the bill immediately say, are they going to be able to collab? Are they going to be able to do something on stage together? I mean, you have all of those singers on one show touring together. Has there been any talk of that? Is there any opportunity on a show like this for the, for, for all those bands to be able to do a song together? Cause I, I think if, if everyone's together, come on, let's, let's form uh, yeah, this power. I mean, let's, I'm not, powers together. let's make it happen. I'm not against this idea. <laughs> this is not something that I'll fight. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. <laughs> um, I, yeah, no, I can't speak for the other ladies, but I will <laughs> certainly be side stage um, belting my ass off. Uh, whether you can hear me or not, I'll be singing with them. <laughs> um, let's talk about your new album created from filth and dust. It's available yeah. now on all streaming platforms. Uh, it, it's, very unique when you see someone take what objectively I've heard people say was a risky thing 
Everyone knew her as this different name. All right, and what is she doing? She had this different band. She did all these different things. And why is this happening now? And we saw her on The Voice. We, oh, why? Why? I, I saw so many people do it. And then the album came out. And then everybody stopped asking these questions. <laughs> is there a certain level of just like, you should have listened to me? Revenge, isn't it sweet? Um, yeah, I... <laughs> Uh, what was? What, 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 sorry, I cut you off at the last. No, it's okay. It's just you, obviously people knew you as Juliet Sims. Now you perform yeah. in this different name. It's a certain yeah. level of clarity. It's you. you it's the, a truer form of yourself, as, as you stated before. How do you mm -hmm. feel about that? Knowing that, yeah, this may be a risk to other people, but I know this is true to me, and that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a a, a true uh, testament to sticking to your guns and sticking to your integrity and and um, follow through. You know, I think that if you believe in something deep enough and strong enough and you you hold on to that and follow through with it um the rest will will fall you know or will follow um it was it while i was you know while we were coming up with this whole plan of this transformation into this new um artist it was very scary it was very um you know it was i, I I was anxious constantly. I was like, holy shit, I'm, I'm about to just press the red button and blow everything up. What's going to happen? But that was also so thrilling and so exciting. And um, yeah, I, I, as an artist, I feel like I have throughout my entire career have found myself evolving and changing. And that's what artists do. They create new ideas and new feelings and new songs and it, you know, being an artist is all about creation. And um, yeah, it just, it felt so right. And I think that because it felt so right, I knew, I, I didn't doubt it ever. Cause it just felt like the exact right thing to do. And it, was there an individual moment or maybe just an example for people on the outside looking in who are seeing you do that? Cause you're, you're saying, hey, you knew me as a certain name and a certain person that's done. I'm, I'm not that person anymore. This is who I really am. Is there a point if for you as an artist when that record came out, when the music videos came out, when you got to do shows with it, where you're like, I made the right decision. I, I always knew I was going to make the right decision, but now I know I made the right decision. Is there any individual thing that maybe once it hit the eyes of other people and you saw how they reacted that, all right, I did it. It was the right thing to do. Yeah. Um, uh, that's actually a really great question because I, what it was, it was, for a couple of months when it first all came out, when King first came out and came, the name was all over social, you know, my socials had changed to the new name and all of that. I was waiting for that, like, okay, come on, come on universe, give me a sign, to, you know, is this the right thing to do? And um, it was when uh, I got the cover of Rock This on Spotify. Um, Allison Hagendorf gifted me that beautiful um, opportunity and, uh, that that assisted and, and created this wave for this for for that song and, and then it ended up on octane and then before i knew it people were tweeting me or you know commenting and saying i heard it on rock radio and you know whatever city that they were in and it was like that all kind of happened in like the same week or week or two and that was the that was the moment that i was like i've never had that before that's something Juliet never uh, accomplished or, a, a, you know, or a, um, I guess a level in my career I had never reached. And so that was the moment that I was like, I just kicked my own ass. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously uh, some people have seen the new look, you've embraced the new look. You've always been somebody who's been able to do something uh, creatively, visually, and you really take the helm with your music videos. Uh, your music videos are really, really good. Uh, I, yeah. I put them on for the girlfriend. She absolutely loves it. I love the outfit. I love that. This is great. <laughs> this is wonderful. I want that. Where did she get the oh, headdress? Man. Like it, it was this conversation like over and over again. And we, uh, we, I, I'm not, this is anything bad about the music. We could almost watch it with the sound off where it's just like, look at this. This is so cool. How do they do that? Um, tell, you, awesome. you are running the helm at your music videos. You have a new one yeah. you're working on where you're yeah. creating everything there. Uh, you have, mm -hmm. it looks like you're, are we in the, are we in the backstage area? Are you crafting you, something right there? You are actually, um, right now I have a suitcase packed and ready behind that mirror as wardrobe bags over here. We've got 
tons of boxes of um, costumes that I that I made and designed um, for the extras in the music video. This next video coming up um, is, oh man, I don't think I've ever had, I don't think I've ever worked this hard on a music video. Like first, how it all started was, was you know, the label and managers were like, okay, we'll start writing, uh, you know, treatments and stories that we could um, use for music videos for this song. And I was like, okay, cool. So I wrote one and I put together mood boards and like, you know, visual um, ideas and things to help, you know, I'm a visual person. I like to tell stories with pictures and stuff like that. And um, so, and then I was like, ah, oh, it's cool, but let me, let me come up with another one. I came up, <laughs> I came up with like six treatments for this music video until thing, we landed on the right one. <laughs> <laughs> Great timing. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I'm so witchy. <laughs> <laughs> Casting spells, Lilith. Casting spells. Yeah. Um, uh, let me th- ask you this question. You, you're working with other artists. You're doing this big tour. You're now doing these creative things with music videos. Have you yeah. ever thought about stepping into someone else's music video and saying, maybe if you did this? Or have you ever thought about working with other artists on their music videos and stuff like that? Because I think you got the mind for it, for sure. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, Yeah, I absolutely would love to do that. You know, um, I have a very creative group of people around me. You know, my husband, um, my family is filled with artists. Most of our friends are artists. And I already, I I already, throughout my life, I can name a few times where I've helped style somebody's shoot, style somebody's music video. Um, I've, like back in the day, when I, you know, for, for money, I would help, um, I would personal shop for people, (laughs) Uh, which wasn't too bad of a job to have spending other people's money. Um, and I know know, other people that do it. I I, I know other people that do that, do that in college too. Yeah. Yeah. It's really stylist. Um, and, uh, you know, even just the nature of what I do and what my husband, um, does, we absolutely find ourselves assisting in the visual arena with each other just because we talk to each other about every little thing that we're doing and so it's something that's already kind of second nature to me i think that that would be fun to do for sure i like that you're a personal shopper as as we're doing this i'm looking at a shirt that i did not pick out for myself so i appreciate that so yeah uh, the the tour is is going to be the biggest thing this uh, the the fall the winter Evanescence Hellstorm Lilith Star along with Plush coming to St Louis December fifth we have the links up now at wqlz.com the album is created by created from filth and dust it is absolutely fantastic love the track Anarchy you've heard us play it as well Lilith thank you so much for the time uh, I'm looking oh. forward to this tour uh, I I'm going to make that trip uh, oh, from, from Springfield you. to St Louis this is one that's going to be uh, I'm looking forward to it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna walk through the pink, misty clouds of all that uh, powerful energy. Of all that and, feminine energy. Yes, and I, I, I'm gonna have a good time. It's gonna Amazing. be great. Uh, thank you so much for the time, and just congratulations on everything going on with you. Hef, thank you so much. Can't wait to perform with you. Thank you for having me. Or perform Thanks, for you. It. With all you. Right, yeah, why don't you come on stage with me. <laughs> <laughs> me? Oh, hey, there's this guy. I'm gonna. I'll be the one person they don't want to see at the show. <laughs> Come on up. Uh, you come on up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate okay. it. Bye. Bye.